Okay, guys, guess what? I'm going to tell you guys how to go camping for free. Totally free. No catches, totally free. Check out this video. So we just got back from our seven day? Yeah, seven days, six nights. Seven day trip to Northwest Pennsylvania. It was our first time boondocking. And I'd like to define the word boondocking. What we mean by boondocking is free camping, free dispersed camping. We're not just pulling off the side of the road. We're out in the middle of the woods, but there are no utilities. There's no electric. There's no water. There's no sewer. Basically, we're all by ourselves. It's not a campground. Although there are sites and that's what Rick wants to talk about because they're not easy to find these free dispersed camping sites on the east coast so we wanted to talk a little bit about what you found and how you found it so okay in searching the internet and particularly going on to youtube most of the uh boondocking that you hear about is taking place out west there's not a whole lot mentioned in the east although there i have noticed recently there are some people that have some uh, videos up about boondocking in New York State, for instance, or Allegheny National Forest. So in doing this research and looking into it, trying to find places closer to home where we could boondock or camp for free, I ran into this interactive map that the Pennsylvania DCNR has. And it's a very interesting map too, because when I first started using it, all I was looking at was the location of these campsites. Now, Pennsylvania has about 200 uh, campsites in state forests that you can book and you can actually reserve, make reservations or apply online and get a reservation. You can free camp for seven days. The campsites don't have any facilities other than a fire ring and possibly a picnic table as well. So we went ahead and we booked one out in Western Pennsylvania, just about, I don't know, six miles outside of the Allegheny National Forest, because I had always wanted to be able to go to and see the Allegheny National Forest, because I had heard that was the last area east of the Mississippi River that still had stands of virgin timber. So we went and we booked the campsite out in uh, Pennsylvania there and it just was wonderful the site was level clear easy to access very spacious it had a fire ring and a recently added picnic table so you can go on to PA DCNR which is a division of conservation and natural resources and they have this interactive map and you can actually get like topography overlays and other infrastructure in the area overlays on these maps it's about 26 or 28 overlays that they offer so you can really learn a lot about the area and then when you decide you want to book a site you pick one and it'll highlight and open a window and it'll tell you a brief description of the site like whether or not it's suitable for tents only or trailers or it's an equestrian site tells you how many vehicles the site will accommodate and then you can swing to another window and get the availability of that site. Now you can only book these uh, out 90 days in advance but they are available for camping year-round and you can book for uh, as much as seven consecutive nights. I think they limit you to a total of maybe 30 nights per year. What, what do you need to book? It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't right? cost anything. You just go on and you there's an application that you can pull up. You fill out the application. You basically email it to them uh, or send it through this, uh, through this interactive map. Searching for PADC and our campsites. And then I get this website right here. It says PA State Forest Campsites. Okay. Right? And that's https colon forward slash forward slash maps dot dcnr dot pa dot gov. And I hit that. And I get this screen here. This interactive map shows information, blah, 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 blah. Hit OK. Then it goes right to a map and it shows you all the <clears throat> sites in the state of Pennsylvania. And as you can see, the majority of them are kind of down through the center. Uh, but as you pick on a site,
And when I hit this one, it tells me what that is. What does that shaggers? Shaggers in, yep. And it tells me the type of the site, whether it has a fire ring, what the forest district is, picnic table, number of vehicles, whether a trailer can access it, whether it has water on it, hitching post. Little description says it's an open area, not under trees. What's a hitching post? It's for a horse to tie oh. your horse up to. Um, does it have a picture? No. And then you can go hit the availability. And it says beginning November the 3rd, campsite reservations have to be made through this Reserve America. Oh. But th that, that was something Ugh. new to me. So that just happened? Yeah, that just happened. I've never had that happen before. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't right? cost anything. You just go on and you there's an application that you can pull up. You fill out the application. You basically email it to them or send it through this interactive map. And they'll ask for your vehicle information license number, just like you were booking into a campground. Same information. In our case, I sent this application in, and in 30 minutes, I had an email back with a copy of the permit and telling us we were approved. So it, it really worked out nice. I also, if you have any questions, each of these campgrounds is part of a regional forest district and they have the phone number available to call the district, which I did because I had a couple questions to, to ask. And they were very helpful and uh, very friendly. So I was totally impressed with the whole process and I really think that, you know, Pennsylvania is doing a wonderful job as far as I'm concerned with cordially making their resources available to their public. They're living up to the idea of being there as a resource to serve the public. Did you know that this existed in Pennsylvania? Not until this summer. Okay, because this is what I'm hearing. A lot of people don't know about this. Right. I didn't know about this. When I Googled it to look at it, even that seems like it's difficult to find. So this is why I wanted to talk to you about this process because you spent how much time this summer finding this information out? Oh, I don't know. I probably spent maybe... 10 or 15 hours in reality but anyway pennsylvania has this uh program these sites that are available like i said there are about 200 of them most of them are in the western part of the state there's unfortunately there's nothing down in the southeastern portion of pennsylvania or in the philadelphia area uh, well it's more crowded there right which is closer to home i mean uh, pennsylvania doesn't even really have any state parks that offer camping that are in relatively close proximity to Philadelphia. So you've got to, you know, move westward farther in order to get something available. So at any rate, that's one of the things. Plus in Pennsylvania, you have this section out there in the west, which is the Allegheny National Forest. And they also offer boondocking, uh, dispersed campsites. And I think they're free for 14 days at a, at a clip, if you want to stay that long. But this free camping doesn't mean you can just drive up and plop your butt there and camp. You no, have to register. You have to have a permit to camp there. To, uh, yeah, to, re to get a permit. Now, okay. I think in the National Forest, you don't have to have a permit if you're just going to do one night. Okay. Um, so we are going to put links to all of this either behind us down in the description below, above us. So the point of this video is to map all of this out for you, right? In case right. somebody wants to do the type of camping that we did, because a lot of people are unaware of it. New York State has a lot of boondocking, free camping available, dispersed camping, because they've got national forest lands up there as well. And I think they offer free camping like Pennsylvania does in their state forests as well. And as far as New Jersey goes, we don't have boondocking, free camping per se, but we do have an area in, in uh, south central Jersey, south of Trenton area, called Wharton State Forest and Calm. Uh, and they have these maps that, again, you can look at the map, you can select the campsite, you can check the availability for the dates that you're interested in, um, and you can actually you know, apply for a campsite online. 
there's a fee for for this camping, but right. it, it's probably the most reasonable camping in New Jersey. Three dollars per person per night, and most of these campgrounds have vault toilets, and they have fire rings on their campsites, and pretty much that's it. A lot of them don't have even a picnic table available. Right. Um, the site was was great. It was amazing. There was, it was almost like flawless, wasn't it? You get doing it and everything. Did, did you run into any issues? No, it was uh, very seamless in terms of uh, making it happen. Mm -hmm. And when we got to the site, for instance, this site was probably at least a quarter of an acre campsite and it was all stoned yeah. uh, parking area off of a, uh, a dirt road that came in off of a, a very rural uh, very lightly traveled road it was very quiet and very very dark at night so that was a little intimidating one of my concerns was being out in the middle of nowhere without any kind of phone we still had phone service because you said there was a cell tower right there and so we had good strong cell signal yeah we actually had television reception just using a little one of those little uh, flat plate we did. antennas for women out there I would say you know don't rule it out try it you may like the peace and serenity being out there and being where you could just be back to nature and wild and free and not worry about anybody around there well, they go all hang out. Yeah, well, there you uh, go. Um, yeah. um, we're going to put links to this. And if you happen to go, please let us know. I hope this information was helpful because we didn't know it existed. And I know a lot of other people don't know it exists. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe if you like our videos. Y'all come back now, you hear?